<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So, I think today's video is going to be quite entertaining. It will be on my end because I'm very anxious to see how this ends up looking. If you hear any like random noises, it's because they are doing like construction a couple houses down, so just ignore that. So today I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup when I was younger challenge. I've been seeing the how I did my makeup in high school challenge, but in high school I either didn't really wear that much makeup or it just really wasn't like anything too crazy that I feel like I could show you guys. So I'm going to do how I did my makeup in middle school when I was like 13, 12, 13 because it was not pretty. So I've already kind of prepared. I have on my Nightmare Before Christmas shirt that I wore basically every day and all of these bracelets that yes I did wear these are the exact bracelets that I used to wear every day I used to layer them like crazy I've prepared in that sense and I also have my exact makeup bag with all of the makeup in it that I used to have I found this in the back of my closet the other day and I thought I definitely have to film a video on this because my makeup was horrendous uh, my style was horrendous but I think it'll be very comedic for you guys. So we're just going to get right into this. I'm going to take out all the items that I used to use, the exact items that I used to use. I have not removed anything out of this bag that I used to have. So I'm just going to use this. All right, let's go. All right, everyone. So I never wore foundation. I always would only wear concealer. And I have that right here, the exact concealer that I used to wear. It is CoverGirl. It is all broken but this is the exact concealer that I would wear. So what I would do is I would literally layer the concealer all underneath my eyes to where it was just extremely light and pale. And I would only put it on my under eyes and on any blemishes that I had, but I would put way too much on, like this. Ooh. And I would never use a sponge or a brush to blend my concealer in, so I would just use my fingers and it would be really blotchy and would not blend. All right. Then once I had this perfectly white under eye, I knew I was done with my concealer. Next what I would do is take this exact cream white eyeshadow and I would layer it all onto my eyelids, just in like the very like inner corners, and it would just be way too much and I would never like Blended in well enough, so you could always tell that I used my fingers to do this. Oh yeah. Oh, bring it back the memories. I would do all of this in a very strange order too. I would just do the next step like by judging on whatever I wanted to do. So next I would take my blush. This is the exact blush that I would use. Um, and I would just layer that on. It would never show up though. It was never a pigmented blush. So I would just put a little bit of that on and it would never show up. But, ah, uh, next, the very fun part, the extreme eyeliner. I'm just going to stay true to my makeup routine from when I was 13. So I'm just going to use this. And I would just literally put it all around my eyes, like raccoon eyes. Just you wait. Oh, guys, bringing back all the scary memories. This, this was my life when I was 13. Never well blended. Never perfectly drawn on around my eyes, but hey, it's okay. You live and you learn, right? Oh, yes. This is too accurate. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows. I didn't normally fill in my brows when I was 13, but they were a lot darker and bushier than these ones. So I'm just going to fill them in with a black pencil. My hair was a lot darker back then, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to move right along to my mascara. Now this was the exact mascara that I would use. I never um, curled my lashes. I would literally just layer this on until it looked really chunky and not good. So I'm gonna do that. This is scarily accurate. Lastly for my makeup, I would just take this clear Hollister lip gloss. I don't know why. I would just layer that on my lips. And this is probably very stale and nasty because it is real old, but I'm gonna use it anyway. We're good. Now this, this is the completed makeup look. Not good, I know, but quite accurate to what my makeup looked like, and that's, that's kind of sad, but. All right, 
Now I have another thing that I'm going to do to match myself in middle school, and that is put a wig on, because this was not my hair in middle school. I was not a blonde, I always had either really dark brunette hair or pitch black hair, so I'm gonna put the wig on really quick and I will be right back. <laughs> you guys, this is horrendous. So my hair was very long, um, it was black or dark brown, whatever you would call this, and I would always like either wear it back in a low ponytail or like back in a messy bun, but I would always leave like my fringe and my bangs out crazy in front. And this, this, is, this is basically what it looked like. Um, last but not least, I would always wear some sort of like barrette in my hair with like big bows from Hot Topic. And I would just like pin back part of my bangs. I'm going to put a side by side right here so that you can kind of get the gist of how I really looked in middle school. Um, this is from one of my dances that I attended. And I would say that this is pretty accurate despite the fact that my hair is pulled back right now or the wig I suppose. But, yeah, I had these crazy bangs, had the dark hair, crazy eyeliner, and I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> I had a mouthful of braces, um, so I, I would always smile and my lips would always be puffed out because I didn't like to smile with my teeth showing so I didn't want my braces to show, but I'd always be like this. And like all my pictures. Alright guys, that that is... That is it. I mean, I think I did everything that I basically would do for my makeup routine in middle school. I got the crazy hair, the eyeliner, the random lip gloss, and can't forget about the bow. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I think it's just a nice reminder to look back on your old fashion sense and compare it to your new fashion sense. I mean, sometimes fashion senses don't change, but mine sure did, and it's kind of neat to see, like, how much different I am now and how much different I look now, like without the crazy hair and the uh, crazy eyeliner. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I sure did enjoy putting all of this crazy makeup on again. It definitely was nice to reminisce on my crazy old fashioned sense and be appreciative of how I do my makeup and hair now. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm a bit late on this little challenge, but I wanted to do it anyway. But yes, stay tuned for more videos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in my next one. All right, bye guys. Oh my gosh. I'll take this off.